good morning from on board what is actually quite a rare rail service. I'm actually on uh, one of the two EMR intercity services to London St Pancras of the day that uh, starts from Lincoln, so that's a little fun fact. Anyway, I'm currently heading on my way to Bedford to ride on the Marston Vale line. But what is the Marston Vale line? And why specifically am I going to ride it today? So the Marston Vale line is a railway line in South East England, operated by London North Western Railway and running from between Bedford and Bletchley. In very recent years, Class 230 trains had been put into service for the line. However, in December 2022, Viva Rail, the company that built and maintained the trains, went into administration, resulting in withdrawal of rail services from the line, which were replaced by a rail replacement bus instead. This has remained the case for almost a year, where in November 2023, a rail service has begun to run once again, using Class 150 units instead. So, I am currently heading towards Kettering, I'll be there in a couple of minutes, uh, because this train doesn't actually call at Bedford, I have to change at Kettering to like EMR Connect, to then a service that does call at Bedford, because I don't think these ones actually call at Bedford. Um, so yeah, we'll do that. Now I am supposed to have a um, six minute connection, at Kettering to get my Bedford train, um, but this train is running four minutes late. I'm not sure for certain I'll be able to make the connection, but thankfully I did plan this um, journey with some leeway, so like I can get the next train and I won't miss the Marston Vale line, so uh, yeah, thank God for my planning. I'm not getting up at 5am just to miss the thing I got up at 5am for. Platform one, blimey, it really is chilly today, jeez. So it said on the display back there that the previous service to the one on this platform that I'm meant to get is just delayed, and that one's like half an hour before. Weird. A small amount of um, real-time trains sleuthing later. Um, I found that the train that's meant to form the service I wanted to get is running like half an hour late going into Corby, so it's not going to get to Corby until about 15 minutes after it was meant to leave to form this service. Either way, I can still make it to Bedford in time, but yeah, that would, that would suck if I, uh, <laughs> if I didn't even get there on time. I'd, I'd video failed. There we go, there we go. It has left Corby. Okay, thank God. 20 minutes late, but oh well. Anyway, let's actually get to the thing that this video is about now, shall we? Well, there's actually hardly anyone on here. Anyway, off to Bedford. Do apologize for the service disruption this morning. Pulling into Bedford now? Let's do this. And here we are, in Bedford, still on time, despite all of the uh, middle and mainline going haywire. But anyway, so, uh, it's platform 1A we need for the Marston Vale line now. I'm now going to do something completely unprecedented, and voluntarily ride a 150. <laughs> Honestly though, I really do like the uh, livery they've given the uh, 150 for the London North Western one. It's a really nice livery, I like it. It looks, um, looks a bit, not, not very London Northwestern-y, looks a bit, uh, looks a bit northerny to be honest. Hmm. Jokes aside, the reason for the northern interior is because there are three 150s that have been given to London Northwestern Railway, basically just donated by Northern, and so they've, they've liveried the outside, but they've not refurbished the inside for London Northwestern. My, like, inner northerner is so confused right now because I'm seeing like northern interior next to a Thameslink train it's it's like it's it's sort of it's sort of just doesn't compute it's like there's an error something's wrong here ah that's why there's a draft in here no thanks much better goodbye bedford i'll see you later 
So as of when I'm filming this video, the Marston Vale Line has still only very recently been reinstated, or had its rail service reinstated. Um, as of right now, there's only four trains a day running down it, the rest still being rail replacement buses. Um, in terms of rail from Bedford, it's 0808, 0917, 1647 and 1847. Um, so, you know, two in the morning, two in the evening for the peak hours, I'm guessing. Although, I wouldn't call it peak because this carriage is entirely empty, but that aside. Um, yeah, so four trains a day, two in the morning, two in the evening. I specifically am on the 0917 towards Bletchley. I really, I really just cannot shake off the, um, the northern interior. It's like... It feels like I'm at home. It feels homely, the, these northern interiors. But I'm not, I'm like 40 miles away from London. It's, it's so weird, it's so nice. weird. Kempston Hardwick, a station that's pretty well allowing me to showcase how foggy it is this morning. So the whole Marston Vale Line route from Bedford to Bletchley is supposed to take, I think, if I recall correctly, 42 minutes, which is 42 minutes too many to spend on a 150, but I will still take a 150 over no rail service at all. It sucks that the reason they're here is because 230s aren't, because I really like 230s, they're pretty cool. Um, they're still in service on the Borderlands line, and I think they're still planned to be used for Great Western Railway. Um, I forget where on Great Western Railway, I think it was the Greenford branch? Not 200% sure on that, so don't quote me on that. Um, but, yeah, so. There are still some 230s about, but still. Sucks they were removed from here. Millbrook looks like a nice pretty station. We've got some uh, stuff dedicated to uh, Tom Moore. I really, when, when full service gets reinstated on this line, I really, really want to come back here and explore some of the stations because they seem really nice and cute and they've just got sort of nice scenery around them. I need to do this. I need to remind myself to do this when the line gets fully reinstated. <laughs> I've gone ahead and moved to a different seat just because I could and also because, you know, being sat in the same seat for the whole journey would be a bit boring, wouldn't it? Since we're at Woburn Sands now, I think we are... My memory serves me right on where Woburn Sands is. We're getting fairly close to Bletchley now. So, honestly, as far as the Marston Vale Line goes, this is my first ever time actually riding the Marston Vale Line. I never got to do it when it was um, 2.30s, but honestly, it's quite good. I do like quite how promptly LNWR were able to reinstate some rail service on here. It definitely does look quite scenic and I would certainly love to come back here when the uh, full service is reinstated. So it's only uh, one or two stops depending on how you define it left to go. We've got Fenny Stratford and then finally Bletchley. Fenny Stratford done. Only three minutes to go now, to the final stop, Bletchley. Here it is, Bletchley, the end of the Marston Vale line. We've made it. And there you go, the railway line that had no trains for a whole year has finally been ridden on a train again. So there you are, the uh, brand new, old, new, Class 150 London Northwestern on the Marston Vale line. So, yeah, there we are, we've done it. Finally ticked it off. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more video, these trains are being very noisy. Give me a second. All right, train's gone now. <laughs> it's a lot quieter now, but yeah, as I was saying, hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to see more videos like this, like, comment, subscribe. Very cool. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. I avoided Bletchley for so long in my life and then I come here twice in under three weeks. <laughs> and as per usual, a huge shout out to all my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now. 
Thank you all very much for supporting the channel. You're all amazing and brilliant and wonderful. Woohoo!